Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. I'm your host, Julian Pittis. Now this week I've got some really cool announcements like concurrency scaling on Redshift. We've got advanced routing on ALB and serverless event for pipelines. We'll then finish up with this week's Guru of the Week winner and release our new question. I'm Julian Pittis and you're watching AWS This Week. AWS has announced concurrency scaling for Redshift. Now this allows AWS Redshift to automatically scale querying processing power, allowing you to consistently perform hundreds of concurrent queries. Now the best part is that you don't actually have to re-architect anything to enable this feature. It's already installed and transparently scales in the background with your workload. To enable concurrency scaling, you simply set the concurrency scaling mode to auto in the AWS Management Console. Now, concurrency scaling is free for most users and you accrue one hour of concurrency scaling credits every 24 hours that your main cluster is in use. When you need concurrency scaling, these credits are actually used until they're exhausted, at which point you start getting billed on a per second basis. Application Load Balancer has added advanced request routing features. With this new release, you can now use ALB to route traffic based on HTTP headers and methods, query parameters, and source IP addresses. With more options in the ALB routing toolkit, you can start to offload the routing functionality in your applications to your infrastructure. This release also includes an update to routing rules. You can now route traffic based on multiple conditions, and each condition can match to multiple values letting you create complex rules to route your clients to the correct section of your application. This next release isn't a service like the others, but rather an announcement about open source solutions based on the serverless application model. AWS has released three pipelines they call event forks, which can be deployed through the serverless application repository. The architecture they've defined allows you to handle incoming tasks through Amazon's SNS to fan out an event to your concurrent event processing system that your application uses. But at the same time, it sends the same event to three other pipeline solutions. The first solution covers event storage and backup in case you need to keep a copy of your events. The second solution, covers event search and analytics if you need to perform analytics on the events that are received. And the third solution is a pipeline that allows you to replay events that your event processing pipeline has received. Now, a use case for which this can be extremely handy, which is also the same use case that they highlight in their documentation, is if you're using an e-commerce website and you have orders. So you can save an encrypted backup of the events with the sensitive information removed, and you can also enable encryption at rest. You can use the second event system to actually use analytics to improve your current product. And you can replay a received order if there was a downstream processing error and you need to replace the order process with a third pipeline. And now on to Guru of the Week. The correct answer to this week's question was B. And there were a lot of great answers, but our Guru of the Week winner is Armando Cortez. Armando is a full stack cloud engineer at Nextline and Grupo Sindria. Congratulations Armando, an A-Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker and hand side card is on its way to you. You'll also go in the running to win an AWS reInvent 2019 ticket. And for all you other gurus out there, check out our new Guru of the Week question, which is now live on our Facebook page. For the next AWS this week, 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 week. Tune in to next week for the next episode. See you next week. No, we can't say that. We have to say keep being awesome cloud gurus. <laughs> <laughs> You've been watching AWS This Week with me, Julian Pittis. We'll see you next week. You've been watching AWS This Week with me, Julian Pittis. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. All right. Yay. Yeah. Yeah.